Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a quick one on gift cards, so let's jump into it. Setting up gift cards is one of the great ways that you can extend your store beyond just its online presence. You can use gift cards both in your online store and through your online point of sales. So I'm going to show you how to set up gift, card, gift cards inside of Shopify so that you can offer these offers to your customers. So if we come to the left hand side, you can see that we have a number of options and we're going to start off by going to products. Once we open up products, we're going to have the option at the bottom is the last one is called gift cards. Now, when you first go to gift cards, it's going to say that you don't have any gift card products installed on your store. So you're going to have to create one in order to get going. So by clicking on the issue gift card in the right hand side, we can start creating a gift card. All right, so we need to create a code for the gift card. This is a unique code that can be used to enter it in um, and track if it's being used in your point of sales or if it's being used in your online store. We can give it another value, uh, uh, a, an amount that we want to issue the code. So we're gonna say this is for $100. We can assign it to a customer if we want to so that it'll only work with that one customer or we can leave it open. So if it's being purchased for a gift, you'd probably wanna leave it open. If it's being used as a refund for a customer, you might wanna select it directly to that customer and the expiry date. Now typically for most places in the world there are laws that prevent you from having gift cards that expire because you pay for monetary value for the gift card. So I would recommend leaving the expiry date as never. And then if you have any notes on this gift card, why the refund was uh, issued or why the gift card was given out, uh, you can put notes in here. Customers will be able to see these notes so you can uh, place them in here. It will be added to the timeline of the customer as well. So we're gonna hit issue gift card. And we now have a gift card that has been created. Pretty simple. All right, so now when the person uses this gift card at checkout, they have a balance and they can subtract from that balance and away they go. Now, if you want to be able to sell gift cards from your website, you need to create a gift card product. So that's the next thing we're going to do. So if we go up to manage gift card products, we can click on that and we can go in and we can add a gift card product. So we can call this holiday gift card. got some description text for it and then we can talk about then we can uh, set up where it's available whether it's on the online store the buy button Instagram Facebook or Amazon which is not connected at this point um, images we can add images to the gift card I recommend creating some unique images for your gift card to help it stand out have a hook match your brand so I have an image here that we have gone ahead and grabbed ahead of time. So let's go and grab that image. Add a gift card in there. The denominations, we can add any denominations we want. I'm going to stick with the standard denominations. And then we have organization, whether it, what kind of product type it is, the vendor, uh, and if it belongs to any collection to find it on your site. We can save the gift card. Now that's been created, we can now go and view it on the online store. So it's similar to a product. Uh, you hit view and it will take you to the gift card on your holiday store where people would be able to choose the value and add it directly to the cart. Thanks for coming by. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification if that's something you're into, and we will see you in the next one.